Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is how to use the Vortex Wireless 2 in GarageBand on an iPad. If you want to connect your Vortex Wireless 2 to an iPad so you can play in GarageBand through the iPad speakers, all you're going to need is an adapter cable. Now here I've got a 10th generation iPad which has got a USB-C port. And here I've got a cable, an adapter cable, that is a USB-C to USB-A. So all I need to do is connect the Vortex Wireless 2 dongle to the USB A connector. And then connect the USB side of the, of the adapter cable into the iPad. And then obviously I've got to turn on the Vortex Wireless 2. And now if I play some notes, you can hear the notes are playing. Now, obviously we've got the notes that play. And it also controls the pitch bend. And the S1 volume control on the top of the Vortex also works for volume control. And the modulation works on the Vortex as well. Now the other thing that's worth noting here is that when you're playing the notes at the moment, it's playing single guitar notes. But if you press on the down octave button all the way to the bottom octave and then play the keys on the Vortex now, you'll actually play chords instead. But you can also play the Vortex Wireless 2 in GarageBand through the iPad and into an external amp. And the way to do that is a little bit of a trick here. Obviously, first you're going to need the adapter cable, as before, and your Vortex dongle. But also now I've got an amplifier. Here I'm using Mobile Cube from Roland. And that is connected to an audio interface. Now the audio interface I'm using here is a Zoom U22 and I've got the output from the Zoom U22 connecting into the input on the amplifier. And the USB cable that comes off the back of the audio interface here, this is where I'm doing the tricky stuff. I'm connecting the audio interface into a class compliant USB hub and it has to be class compliant. So I connect the audio interface into the class compliant hub and then I connect the Vortex dongle into the class compliant hub and then what I'm doing is connecting the hub To the adapter cable because this has got a USB A connector on the hub. So I connect that into my adapter cable and now I can connect the other end, the USB C end of the adapter cable, into my iPad. And when I do that, then turn my vortex on. 
no noise is actually now coming out of the iPad. But if I turn on my amp, hopefully, we've got some noise. I haven't, so I'm going to unplug it, unplug it back in again. Okay, something's gone wrong. Okay, so you can see that it is a little temperamental, but it does work. The other thing I would say is this class compliant USB hub I've got here, it can be powered. It's got a, a power adapter for it, but when I plugged in the power adapter, I didn't get any connection at all. So I don't know what difference that was making. And as you can see, this does work. But it's a little bit sticky. You might have to try it a couple of times to get it up and running.